problem solving with the mean. On the first four games, Jennifer bowled 101, 112, 126 and 108. What is the minimum score she needs on the fifth game to have an average of 110? There's a couple of ways we can work this out. Remember that the mean is the total divided by the number of scores. So, we want an average of 110. 110, now that has to be the total divided by the number of scores. The total will be 101 plus 112 plus 126 plus 108 plus x, the fifth game score that we don't know. And the number of scores when we've done the fifth game as well will be 5. Now we could get away without showing all this working and we could add that up on the calculator. So she's got a total of 447 at the moment. 110 equals 447 plus whatever she gets divided by 5. Now we want to get x on its own and that means we need to get rid of this divide by 5. So I'd, Now we've got a couple of options here really. We can do this really perfectly and solve the equation and I'll do that now or I'll show you some other reasoning that would be easier if we're not as good at equations. So we want to get x on its own, we've got to divide, multiply both sides by 5 so 5 times 110 is 550 equals 447 plus x and to get x on its own I'm going to take away 447 from 550 x equals 103. So to get an average of 110, she's got to get at least 103 on the last one. Now if you're not as great at solving equations, then remember that to get an average of 110 over 5 games means that the total will be 5 lots of 110. Because an average of 110 says that, well, that's as if every game was 110. And there were five games, so the total would be that, be 550. And then you'd want the next game after this to add up to 550. So we added all of those up. That's going to be 447 plus whatever we need has to be 550 and you can work that one out. So you can just reason it out or you can show proper equation working. The mean of three students scores is 86. James did his test late so he's the fourth person and got 73 percent and so now we've got to add James's measure into the class find the new mean. Now they haven't told us what these three students scores were but they have said that the average is 86. So the total of those three students' scores will be three lots of 86. I don't know what their individual scores were, but I know that on average it's 86, so I can get the total by doing three times 86, 258. So that was got what the first three students got all together. Now James did his test late and got 73%. So the new total with four students is the original total that they got plus James's score three hundred and thirty one. And now our average, the mean, is the total divided by the number of scores. 
sorry, I'm writing a little bit small there. That's 331, and remember there were four students now. I've already got 331 in my calculator. Divide by 4, 82.75. And we were in percentage, and so James, his result, even though it's pretty good, dropped the group average. So remember, anytime you're problem solving, you're using the relationship of the mean is the total divided by the number of scores. And we don't actually have to know the scores to be able to find the total. If I know how many students, or how many scores there are, and what the average is, I can use that to work out the total.